There are three children who died because of the uterus broke. Over 650 million women and girls globally were married before the age of 18, and one out of 13 were married before they were 15. I was born in Banja, and I was born in the 7th grade. I was born in Banja, and I was born in Banja, and I was born in Banja, and I was born in Banja. Around 200 million women and girls have undergone female genital mutilation, FGM, or cutting. A majority were under age five. UN Women is working with the Council of Traditional Leaders of Africa, Kotla, to address harmful practices and bring about change. These leaders have a lot of influence in their communities and their inclusion is crucial. Traditional leaders are building blocks between government and grassroots communities, particularly linking up the community laws to national laws such as on ending harmful practices. What we have done as a chief dom is to sit down with the people and review our culture after seeing too many children carrying children on their backs. Child marriage and FGM remains persistent, largely due to traditions and customs, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. FGM has serious implications for women's sexual and reproductive health. Child marriage can result in early pregnancy, social isolation, school interruptions, and domestic violence. Also, early marriage can result in many health problems, including labor difficulties, resulting in possible death. If nothing is done to change this, by 2050, the number of women and girls facing child marriage and FGM will double. This cannot continue. We as traditional leaders, when we talk, people listen. Under our kingship, chiefship, we have many people who they prefer to talk with traditional leaders, more than government officials, more than politicians. UN Women has been working with traditional and cultural leaders and institutions across Africa to identify ways to transform and eliminate these negative practices and harmful norms. We think that what is done with FGM is not necessary today and is not necessary in our cultures. That's why we decided to stop it. But to do that, we build Kotla. In Ethiopia, in February 2019, Kotla was launched to join voices from across the continent in a push to eliminate harmful practices like FGM and child marriage. The first few meetings were very emotional for me because I couldn't imagine myself or my sisters or anyone in my community going through such vile and harmful acts. And I felt a need to stand together with the rest of my African family in helping them also sensitize and make away the people in the South that we are all in the struggle together and we should leave no one behind. We have come up with 21 years as the marriage age in our chiefdom. After all, 18 years is the minimum marriage age. And in most cases, at 18 years, most of our children are in school. UN Women has gained the support of religious leaders. Many followers practice their teachings concerning health, hygiene, and nonviolence. Through UN Women's Africa Strategy 2018 to 2021, the aim is to end child marriage and FGM in at least 11 African countries by the close of 2021. This is in line with the Africa Union's campaign to end child marriage by 2023. We're speaking to some of the traditional leaders and they were talking about in a particular country where in a year the traditional justice system sees about 8,000 cases while the statutory system sees under 1,000 cases. So it shows where the people go, it shows where the people are. 
So if we are going to win this fight, we need to bridge the gap between the statutory system and the customary system. Consultations with traditional leaders have been productive and we can see change at the grassroots level. Now it's 3,449 marriages which have been terminated. I mean, that way I go school, my posida, and my funa good in Kazamaza school. Zakarimu, Lucy. All the wish and to Zikra to Menel Quende. I've managed to end about 2,002 early marriages. And out of this, about 800 of them have gone back to school, of which is making me proud. But I haven't finished yet. I need to see that it's completed done. I'm happy with the direction I think we're taking and we just need to soldier on and continue to doing great things.